Sometimes I think that I use PyTorch more than I breathe. PyTorch is one of the premier open source deep learning framework widely used for building and training neural networks on a single GPU or CPU prized for its flexibility and dynamic computation graph. Recently, this PyTorch had a massive upgrade called as Monarch. This is the topic of this video. We are going to install it locally. I will describe it in very simple words and we will also see a hands-on example. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. So what is Monarch? Monarch is a powerful experimental extension to PyTorch that enables scalable distributed execution across multiple GPUs or even across multiple nodes or machines while maintaining the simplicity and developer-friendly feel of native PyTorch. This Monarch is built with a new actor endpoint system and uses process meshes. Monarch allows users to write asynchronous parallel code that feels local but execute at cluster scale. This upgrade means PyTorch users can now scale complex training or inference tasks without rewriting their workflows for MPI or low-level distributed systems that offers a potential for massive performance gains in multi-GPU and multi-node environment. Okay, so that is what Monarch is. I'm going to install it on this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. The commands which I'm going to use will be valid for multi-GPU setup too. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU or CPU or multi-GPU cluster or VM on very, very cheap prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And our environment is created. One of the prerequisite is to install this Rust toolchain. So I'm just going to install it from the nightly update. And I'm just going to proceed with the standard installation. This is going to take a bit of a time. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And you can find the link to their website in video's description. And Rust toolchain is now installed. Let's proceed further. And now we are going to install this Monarch. I'm cloning the GitHub repo. It is asking me for my username and password. So let me give it. And now we need to install all the build and test dependencies from the root of the repo. And that is going to take a couple of minutes. And this step completes all of the prerequisites. And now we can build and install Monarch from the root of the repo. And Monarch is being installed here. This takes few minutes. And the Monarch is now installed. And if you want to test it, you can maybe run our test with PyTest on Monarch and it is going to check all the configuration as you can see and the test is passed with Monarch here. Now, in order to test the Monarch, I have just created this Hello World example. So what this is showing, it is showing us the distributed actor with Monarch. So if you look at the code, first up, we are importing everything we have installed, including Monarch. And for example, this proc mesh here manages the distributed mesh of GPU backed processes. And actor is the main thing, which is a distributed object with methods you can remotely call and we are giving it number of factors four. So primarily we are telling it that we are going to spawn four GPU packed processes or actors in our case. Then we are defining this class toy actor, which is a simple distributed actor class and each instan instance gets its rack, which is a GPU index as you can see in the code here. It also exposes one method from this class, which is hello world that logs a message when invoked. Okay, now once that's done, it simply uses this mesh await stuff where it 
waits for it and then it launches for sub processes and that is all there is to it okay so now that's done let me run this from our system i'm just going to go here and run this code it is going to run this there you go now so what we have done here i'll just go at the top so we have spawned multiple gpu distributed actors as you can see four of them and then from there we have called the remote methods on them both collectively and individually this is all what it is showing for different instances and then this these are the hello from monarch and we have used monarch's actor based distributed computing framework on a real gpu system and you see that for all four we are getting the messages so this is what monarch is now next up let me show you a bit of an advanced <clears throat> sorry advanced example so if you look at this code what this is doing it is showing bidirectional communication between distributed actors so it spawns two separate process meshes as you can see here in the code and then from there it is running two gpu bound instances of example actor which we have just defined once linked they uh, and these actors are primarily initialized with references to their counterparts in the other mesh once linked they perform a ping pong interaction each actor calls the send method and once that send method is done this routes a message to its paired actors requi method on another process the recipient then prints a message with its identity so primarily what this example is doing it is simulating real world actor to actor messaging patterns that would be used in large scale distributed computation such as coordinating tasks sending gradients or performing parallel updates all while preserving a clean asynchronous api similar to standard python async code so let me run this and this is you see that it has spawned it it is doing ping pong uh, between uh, and now it has finished it properly and if i just go up you can see that this is where ping pong was being done so primarily this code is showing that actors have been correctly spawned across two separate process meshes each actor successfully referenced and messaged its counterpart and then the requi method printed the expected ping replies so um I would say pretty cool update as usual from PyTorch and I'm going to um, you know use it in my production environment especially in the multi GPU cluster and we routinely run and install these models locally on our system so I'm sure that I'm going to show you when we are doing some multi GPU installation of a model on the system that's it if you enjoyed this monarch please like the video and share it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it supports the channel. Thank you very much.